What is up, Madden NFL 25 gamers? Today we're going to be taking a look at the 245 formation. We're talking about this over the weekend with the Mud Invitational. Um, one of the one of the Mud Invitational champions for the PS4, uh, Tweezy. He runs uh, a lot of nickel 245 defenses and. Uh, one of the things they were talking about was his creation of the mid zone blitz, and so today I want to break down the mid zone blitz, talk about the weaknesses of it, the strengths of it, and all of that. So, anyways, guys, the play from the two four five mid zone blitz. And what I like to do is we like to base the line, I like to pinch our defensive line. I like to crash my defensive line down, and once I do that, I'll take this guy here, Alexander, and I can drop him into any zone I want. Typically, it's going to be a deep seam zone like that. Um, another thing that, like, if you're facing the run, what's good is to put him in a flat zone uh, because flat zones are very effective against the run. We like to pass commit with this, and uh, you see we have a lot of the field covered. And snap the ball, we should get some A gap pressure. Now you see we get quick pressure up that middle. Uh, pretty effective. Now, one thing also that I've noticed too is, is potentially contain here makes the pressure a bit more consistent as you see now you have 100% a gap and that's sending I, I consider that sending five guys not four um, but it's 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 all based on how you want to do it because like I said if you play on a flat zone sometimes they'll come in a lot of times that a gap will still come on you see there see the a gap pressure come in and one of those that's kind of the key we're trying to get one of those two linebackers to come in now another thing that I've tried to do is I've tried to make it a three man so I'll spy the left of screen defensive tackle and I'll drop Alexander into his zone and sometimes I get it sometimes I don't as you see there I actually get it um, but do note uh, with this blitz now what's cool about this is that slide protection so like for example you would think slide protect aggressive that should stop it you see here it actually doesn't now another thing that's interesting is I think if I remember correctly, slide protect pinch doesn't stop it either, which is which is another cool trait about. Actually, it does stop it. Okay, so I think I, I think I meant uh, just aggressive doesn't. So so if they pinch the line, they do stop it. But then again, also remember. Okay, so say they pinch the line. Well, say you try to send an edge blitz, and this is just uh, this is just kind of ad lib here, but. Because I don't know if 100% of this is going to work. But say you try to send an edge blitz against a pinch line. Now, in theory, it should work a little bit better. Or just in general, the edge rush should work a little bit better. So for a play like the cover three buzz, and you want to go ahead, you want to show the same look as if you were sending the mid zone blitz. But in reality, you're sending a four down lineman pass rush. You see how they get upfield just a little bit better at the quarterback against them. So there's a lot of scheming and things you can do with this. But... In general, guys, what's really interesting about this is the spy of Docket, and the I think the three man might work a little bit better than the four man, but as you see, you just get that a gap pressure, and in that time we got a little tripped up, but but you see the concept, and uh, that's what I wanted to present to you guys today. Um, now, can you do this out of other places in nickel normal? So let's try to do this out of like the cover three bus. So let's say, okay, we're gonna pinch our line, we're gonna reblitz both of our linebackers, and then we're gonna zone out these guys so say we did something like this so something like this get those linebackers